cramped in here. It's so musty. I can't smell 500 feet in front of me. There. No wonder the machinery was going haywire. This console hub is all chewed up by gubs. Let me see. Maybe I can... Is someone there? Can I help you? Uh, hi! Uh, hello! Uh, nice to meet you! Your, uh, your name is... Sephodra? Yes, I am Sephodra. And you are... Rose. Isn't that a child's name? I didn't know that when I chose it. I wasn't expecting to run into anyone else down here. I thought only ants were allowed in this part of the factory. I admit I may have wandered a little off course. What about you? Guess I wandered a little off course myself. Excuse me, ma'am. Just what are you doing down here? <laughs> ma'am. Believe me, I wouldn't be down here if I didn't have to be. But when the ants call you, you don't argue. Guess I should be flattered they notice I have a business at all. And grateful they didn't check my reviews too deeply. So what business is that? Ah! <laughs> Behold, my business. Gross. I hate gubs. Especially fire gubs. Right. Gubs. Tell me, Arachnid, what do you know about gubs? I know they're creepy and crawly and covered in the sticky grease they get all over your hair, so I'm going to be smelling that for weeks. Anything else? Uh, they don't have brains. Ignorance. All right, Arachnid. Allow me to educate you. Vertebrata, the phylum of animals with hard casings surrounding the central nerve cords. What you call gubs. Mammalia. The class of vertebrates best known for being parasitized by their own young. Primates. Unlike most mammals, this order has evolved four legs not simply for walking, but for grasping, manipulating. Homo sapiens. Your fire gubs. Humans. Molecular evidence shows they are the sole surviving members of the genus. And knowing them, I can venture a guess why. And believe me, they have brains. Incredible brains. Capable of learning to adapt to almost anything. They make shelters, they use tools, they can communicate, organize themselves into complex societies. Commander, we found it. Show me. Uh, wow, interesting. I never knew that about gubs. Humans. But that's the problem. They're too clever. There's no place they can't squirm their way into. Nothing they cannot twist and turn until it works for them, given the time. Oh, and they do have time. They can wait as long as it takes to get what they want. But I can wait too. By now, you may have guessed that what I've been showing you hasn't been entirely accurate. We're not protocols, but to you we are just big bugs. We can't speak in a way that you would understand. Like our protocols, we do not communicate with sound. Instead, we use smell. Pheromones. So I've been translating. And for some things, I've had to take some pretty big liberties. Faces made of chitin do not squish or sag. Eyes without eyelids cannot narrow. And it would be extremely impractical for a cockroach to stand on his hind legs and cross the rest behind its wings, to say the least. These are also translations, to show what we're feeling in a way you can better understand. And since I'm your guide, I've taken a few more liberties portraying myself. The truth is, I've never stood on two legs in my life, and certainly not now. I hope that doesn't seem dishonest. Well, until next time. Class dismissed.